Hello, this is Thunderbird Daily. This video is about Quick Folders 4.4, the March 2016 release of my add-on Quick Folders. The first major improvement is the drag to new folder command on tabs for IMAP accounts. This wasn't working properly before because IMAP accounts have to create the folder on a server and we do not know when it will be finished. I managed to pull this off with a newer programming technique called JavaScript Promises. It is supported by the modern versions of Thunderbird and SeaMonkey. Here you can see it in action. Take an email and drag it on a tab. Select new folder and enter the name. So that's going to be the subfolder of this folder in big folders. And call that isotope. And then once I click this button, the folder will be created on the server and then after it has been created successfully there, the emails will be moved to the new folder. With the old synchronous method, this would often not work or even make the program hang. Here it will work no matter how much time the server may take and you can keep on working on other emails in the meantime. So it's created on IMAP, takes a while and then moves the emails there. Let's go to the folder, isotope. And you can see it was moved and then it was pulled from the server and showed us the email. The next thing I want to show you is the new quick jump feature. I've shown before that you can jump to any folder by clicking the quick jump button and just entering a folder name. Now you can also list all the child folders by typing a forward slash. The good thing is I don't even have to enter the full folder name, I can just, I can just enter part of it and it will list all the child folders and I can keep typing to get where I want and then I can go to add-ons quick folders by for instance entering add forward slash qu and that's all that's necessary, maybe qui and it will be narrowed down the more I type and then I can jump there. Okay, here's the next one. I've combined both features in the quick move function. Say I want to move some emails from a friend or from a client into a specialized subfolder. And I don't remember whether there's already a folder for this particular person. So instead I'm going to type the parent folder name and then just forward slash. And in this case I'm going to go for Studio One Isotope. So I want to move this email from Isotope into its own Isotope folder. I don't know if it exists, but it should be located under the Studio One folder. I'll just drag this onto Quick Move. Start typing Studio One. Studio One forward slash isotope. And I don't get any matches. So I go for Create Subfolder Studio One Isotope. Remember, we still have the move of the email pending. So I click on Create Folder. Continue typing. Isotope, this is the name of the new folder under Studio. Click OK. And it moves the email into the new folder under Studio One. And to show you, Studio One, Isotope. And here's the email. Now, if the folder already had existed, let's take another one. I don't remember that it exists. I click on the email and drag it onto the quick move. Start typing Studio One forward slash isotope and it comes up as an option. I don't need to create it, I just click on it and it's moved there. Same operation, I don't need to remember that I had the folder. I can just start typing the parent folder name forward slash and the child folder and I can create it in the same operation and move the email. So it's very quick, very powerful. This is a time saver. Okay, there's one more small one, uh, but I think it's important. I added a new option in Quick Folders, general options. You probably know the feature of going to the next unread email by clicking this button, move to the next unread message, or on the keyboard, hitting the N key. Now, if you keep doing this, eventually you have read all the emails in the current folder and you get this confirmation message that asks you do you want to advance the next unread email. Now I don't want that message. You can switch that off with the hidden config setting but that's not very handy. So I added an option for that in quick folder settings. 
it's message navigation, go to next unread email and instead of ask to go to next unread folder, we just go to the next folder without asking, which I recommend and click OK. And now if we click on the move to next unread message, it will just jump to the folder. Click again, jump to the next folder, smart template. Click again, it jumps to the next folder and so on. So you can very quickly jump to all your unread emails and quickly go through them all and be done in a very short time. That's all for today. So this was Quick Folders 4.4. I hope you found it helpful. I will add more features and tips on this channel in the future and I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers so that I can use the channel name Thunderbird Daily. Like and subscribe and have a nice day.